Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTM C617, Standard Practice for Capping Cylindrical Concrete Specimens. This video demonstrates capping a hardened concrete cylinder with high strength gypsum paste. Remove any materials that may interfere with the bond of the cap. Correct any point that exceeds an eighth of an inch along the plane that is perpendicular to the cylinder axis. To do this, you will need an eighth of an inch feeler gauge and a square. Place the square along the cylinder axis as shown. Now use the eighth of an inch feeler gauge to check across the perpendicular plane. If the eighth of an inch feeler gauge passes between the cylinder and the square, the cylinder end must be corrected. Weigh the gypsum and water to meet the water-cement ratio determined in qualification testing. For more information, see manufacturer instructions for your specific type of gypsum. You can also see the CTTP gypsum qualification video for more information on the qualification process. Mix the gypsum for the recommended time per manufacturer instructions. For this particular mix, a sifter was used to allow the gypsum to slowly and evenly mix with the water. Add mineral oil or grease to the capping plate. Place a conical mound of paste on the cylinder and gently press the plate until contact with the rim of the cylinder is made. Remove the cap after hardening. Generally, the cap can be removed within 45 minutes. Check plainness of caps on at least three specimens daily, making checks across three different diameters. These checks should represent the start, middle, and end of the capping run. Check the plainness of the cap across three or more diameters using a straight edge and a 0.002 inch feeler gauge as shown. Also check for hollow areas. Protect the cap specimen from drying by covering with a double layer of moist burlap or by returning to a moist room. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.